All right, here we have a Jaguar 2002. Uh, this is going to be an X-Type. This is a unique situation. Basically, custom bought the key online and um, took it to the local Jaguar dealer. Had the key cut, and this is what we got. Key won't come out the car. So, basically, I'm here to program this key to get it to start this engine. But I'm also a here to fix the problem with why the key is not coming out of the ignition. Uh, it's my understanding they lost the key. They the dealer wanted too much, so they bought one online. Took it to the dealer, had the dealer cut it, put brought it back to the car. I guess they think they could program it, or they had somebody to program it. I don't know the deal about programming, but uh, they can't get this key out of the ignition. So we're gonna go ahead and get the key out, and go ahead and program it, and be done. I'll come back in a little bit. Alright, we're back at the X-Type. Uh, the remote now programmed also. I'm always curious to see how the remote's programmed, especially when customers buy the stuff online. This is definitely an aftermarket one. This person actually got lucky. I've had remotes that come to me and I can't program the remote portion, but I can get the chip going because something's wrong with the remote or it's on the wrong frequency. But in this case, it works. Now, on these keys, it's a two-step process. You program the remote separately, and you program the chip in the head for the car to start. Right now, it will crank. Security light, let me do it again. Security light goes out in about three seconds. So this car is even having some type of fuel problem. Look like it's half a take. They got buttons underneath the dash, so they may have some type of fuel cutoff switch somewhere. I don't know what they... My job is done. The security system recognizes the key. Oh, and the key comes right out. So, uh, the problem with these keys, too, aftermarket, sometimes they're not always to spec. And when you cut the keys, especially if you get them cut uh, by code, like from a dealership, the dealer's going to cut you a brand new key, which you're going to try to operate it in an old lock. So, the parts in the locks are used. So, most of the time, you got to play with the keys normally get them work into a used lock so what I mostly do is I take the lock apart I look at the wear and tear on the wafers and then I make the pro proper adjustments on the keys that way they can go in and out uh, like earlier the key just got stuck it wouldn't come out you need my help you're in Georgia uh, give me a call I can put you on my schedule come out service the vehicle on site if you're in another state then you're gonna have to pull the locks whatever you know the pull the ignition send me the key I can fix it that way but if you need tech support uh, we don't do that so you might want to call your local dealership maybe they can help you out further with any questions you might have concerning tech support but if you need our help uh, as far as sending the parts in getting it fixed getting it taken care of we definitely do this type of work we do a lot of it uh, we understand these locks we understand these systems and no we're not going to tell you how to fix your car on the phone. That's not what we do. We're not certified trainers. Um, and that's about it. You can go to the website if you need more information www.acmlocksmithgroup.com Thank you.